What's up guys this is Sean Heather and in this video we are going to do a benchmarking test comparison of a bunch of Huawei smartphones. So here we got Huawei P40 Pro, Mate 30 Pro, Nova 7, Nova 7 SE, Nova 7i, Nova 5T, Y8P and Y9S. And we are going to see how much difference we are going to get in terms of benchmarking test score result depending on the hardware and software aspects of these smartphones. So P40 Pro got Kirin 990 processor, Mate 30 Pro as well got Kirin 990, Nova 7 comes with Kirin 985 processor, Nova 7 SE got Kirin 820 processor, Nova 7i got Kirin 810, Nova 5T got Kirin 980 processor and Y9S and Y8P they both got Kirin 710 processor. All of these smartphones they are running on Emotion UI 10 and Android 10 except the Y9S. It is still on Android 9 and Emotion UI 9.1. So the benchmarking application we got today here they are Android Benchmarking, Geekbench 5 and 3D Mark. I have already performed all of these tests and we are just going to have a quick look on the test score result. So let's start it. So first of all let's start with the Antutu benchmarking. So P40 Pro scored 467,916, Mate 30 Pro scored 443,446, Nova 7 scored 416,952, Nova 7 SE scored 379,641, Nova 7i scored 302,037, Nova 5T scored 386,718, Y8P scored 192,069, and at last Y9S scored 183,848. So you can get the idea that we are getting this benchmarking test score result mostly based on the hardware specs and superiority of the chipset used. So if you're talking about the processor, it's Kirin 990, Kirin 990 as well. But here you can give the credit to the beta software optimization of P40 Pro for scoring more points. After that, it's Kirin 985, Kirin 980, Kirin 820, Kirin 810, and then Kirin 710. And once again, between Y8P and Y9S, because of the beta software optimization, and the latest Android version running on Y8P, it has scored more point compared to Y9S even though both of them got exact same CPU and GPU. And if you go to the individual test score result, here you can compare the test score result of CPU, GPU, memory and UX as well. As you can see that in all of them the best performance is coming from P40 Pro, then Mate 30 Pro, after that Nova 7. Nova 7 actually scored a bit more point in terms of UX compared to Mate 30 Pro. After that it's Nova 5T, then Nova 7 SE, Nova 7 SI, Y8P and then Y9S. So now let's go back from here and let's have a look on the next test. And that's going to be the 3D mark. So this test is divided in two parts, Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme. And once again the Slingshot Extreme is divided in OpenGL and Vulkan. So in Slingshot, P40 Pro scored 4090, Mate 30 Pro scored 4284, Nova 7 scored 6173, Nova 7 SE scored 5635, Nova 7i scored 3235, Nova 5T scored 4113, Y8P scored 1599, and Y9S scored 1159. Talking about the Slingshot Extreme, Huawei P40 Pro scored 5706 in OpenGL and 5481 in Vulkan. Mate 30 Pro scored 5742 in OpenGL, 5406 in Vulkan. Huawei Nova 7 scored 5244 in OpenGL and 4931 in Vulkan. Nova 7 SE scored 4400 in OpenGL and 
4620 in OpenGL and 4287 in Vulkan. Nova 7i, it is scored 2822 in OpenGL and 2619 in Vulkan. While Huawei Nova 5T, it is scored 4611 in OpenGL, 4410 in Vulkan. Y8P scored 1101 in OpenGL and 1067 in Vulkan. While Y9S scored 870 in OpenGL, 939 in Vulkan. So while Nova 7i, Y8P and Y9S points are expected and in the same pattern, but here we got mixed result. For example, Mate 30 Pro is scoring better compared to P40 Pro in Slingshot and Slingshot Extreme OpenGL. And in Slingshot, the winner is actually Nova 7 because it has scored the maximum point even better than P40 Pro and Mate 30 Pro. After that, it is Nova 7 SE. But if you're talking about the Slingshot Extreme, performance of P40 Pro and Mate 30 Pro are better compared to the rest of the devices. And once again, you can see that in Slingshot Extreme, OpenGL performance of Mate 30 Pro is better and in Vulkan performance of P40 Pro is better. So as I said, the performance, the points and scores are quite mixed up in this 3D mark test. But in this test, we can consider Mate 30 Pro as the winner because it is scoring highest in two of these tests. After that, it's P40 Pro, then Nova 7, Nova 7 SE, Nova 5T, Nova 7i, and then Y8P and Y9S. And let's go back from here and now let's have a look on the last test for today and that's Geekbench 5. So Geekbench 5 is divided in CPU and Compute and CPU is once again divided in two parts, single core and multi core. So P40 Pro has scored 757 in single core, 3073 in multi core, Mate 30 Pro has scored 756 in single core, 2953 in multi core. Nova 7 scored 688 in single core, 2572 in multi core, Nova 7 SE has scored 637 in single core, 2441 in multi core. Nova 7 SI, it has scored 591 in single core and 1881 in multi core. Nova 5T scored 684 in single core, 2448 in multi core. Y8P scored 337 in single core, 1402 in multi core, and at last Y9S, it scored 322 in single core and 1349 in multi core. So the result is exactly like the Antutu benchmarking. First position, second position, third position, fourth position, fifth position, sixth position, seventh, and then eighth. Now let's go back from here to the compute test score result. And in compute, performance of Nova 7 is better compared to the rest of the smartphone. So Nova 7 is at the first spot in compute. After that, it's P40 Pro, Mate 30 Pro, Nova 7 SE, Nova 5T, Nova 7i, Y8P, and Y9S. So the pattern is pretty much same. The only difference is that this time, Nova 7 is at the first position, and then after that, it's the same exact pattern. So considering the overall points and position, we can consider once again that P40 Pro is at the first spot. After that, it's Mate 30 Pro, then Nova 7, Nova 7 SE, Nova 5T, Nova 7i, Y8P and then Y9S. So you can get the idea that better chipset and hardware specs is playing the most important role in achieving the benchmarking test score result and the devices where the same chipset is used for example P40 Pro and Mate 30 Pro or Y8P and Y9S in that the device with better software is scoring more point. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching this video. If you found it useful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe the channel and do not forget to press the bell icon as well to get the notification for future uploads and I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.